Okay, Dillian wants it, so we're gonna do it. Okay, this is totally fine. <laughs> Let me tell you about the sword, Tyrving. Okay. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. It's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary, inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. Senua. You remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Okay. That's me. Sounds good. I don't know why I thought this wouldn't be freaky. I was like, oh yeah, we'll just continue. Dillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? Can I light this? Through there. You found him. What's wrong? I have found what him, happened? but I can't get to him. Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. I don't know that I can get through here. This is your mission. Find him. Use everything you have and find him. Get him back. He was just there. How could you lose him? How could okay. you? How could she find him? How do I get up here? Maybe up here? Wait. Oh, I was like, wait, didn't we come from this direction? Then I couldn't find the way out. I wonder... It looks like there's a way on top of this area. Is there another torch in here somewhere? Get this way. Alright. I'll find him. This way? Let's go this way first. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. They might do. Turn back. She has to keep going. It's we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. She Don't turn back. To keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's Is that a scary. mirror? This place is wild. I can hear him. Oh, <gasps> you! <laughs> oh. Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> We're, this is like the Lost Woods. It's like the Lost Woods. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. That voice. It's not Dillian. That feels fine. Ooh. 
This is fine. I'm getting more and more distorted as we go. It's definitely not freaky at all. Dillian wants it, so we're gonna do it. Okay, this is totally fine. <laughs> it's not fine. Father. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief and son. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the God. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. You got this. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! If that isn't a depiction of abuse and a really great depiction of the burden you feel. It's done. It. This is the burden you feel like trying to talk to friends when you're going through a hard time. Oh, okay, that way. Don't let him disappear. The air is gone. Keep going. How do you find it? It's just a trial. Thank you, Ryu. It's just another test. You just have to solve it. <laughs> it's a test. Like the old warrior trials. Dillian will help me. The stench of rot. She can almost taste it. Do you smell it? Not everyone can. It was a warm spring day when she went to the river with Dillian and the others. But the water. She could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. I like that they're kind of bringing these other she mechanics really back. They just laughed at her. Soon enough, always appreciate when games do that kind of thing. As the bodies piled up. The sludge, yeah. No one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. You have to fix it. How are you going to fix it? You can't get to the house until the bridge is fixed. I understand. You have to get to the house. You have to find Dave. Have to get up there somehow? Is this 
Forgive me. I understand that I probably have to do the thing where I focus here, but I think I'm not at the right height at the moment. Okay. There we go. We fixed the bridge. Thank you, voices. Genoa, yeah. come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Come out if you are. Where is he? Find him. You have to find him. The runes. Focus. Okay. Delius! They're coming for me! <laughs> the voices are a lot for sure. I wasn't supposed to do that, apparently. I am, uh... I'm very concerned. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, so we need to get these runes, but now we're in a maze. Run where? I have no idea what is happening. We're in a maze. We have to find runes. And apparently if we take wrong turns, we run into fire. I am lost. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay, we weren't fast enough. <laughs> okay, I kind of understand the idea now, I guess. Can I even get to the last one? There it is. Okay. Uh, where's the door? I don't even, I don't know where I am. And I know that's the point, but. They're coming! Is it down here? No. Here? This way? This way seems different. Oh, thank God. Okay, okay, okay. Regular Sunday morning, then. That was brutal. If y'all. Yeah. Hi, Azira. How's it going? Oh. Senua. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> that was intense. Senua. What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. 
They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. That doesn't make no truth. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. We're probably right around the halfway mark, just over halfway at this point. story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature. He spoke fair words. He gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Yeah, this voice is really good. Okay. The voices didn't seem like this place was strange. I mean, okay. The bridge. You've come this far, <laughs> but the bridge is broken. There's no way you can fix it. What do you do now? So, I have a question. You can answer this question. This is a noodles question. Do I need to be concerned about my death rot levels right now? <laughs> Y'all said don't be concerned about it, but what's like up to my shoulder? Halfway. The bridge is fixed. Let's cross it. It does have permadeath, which is why I'm concerned about my death rot. <laughs> the Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world, fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness, swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him. Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Oh, Loki. I wonder if I have to go back to get the rune? I'll try this. Because now we can get over here. I bet we can get through this gate now. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. I was not gonna ask about that too, but I felt awkward. Never feel awkward. No question is a dumb question. Dillian, there he is. And I'm pretty patient about answering questions, so I'm never, never ever going to make you feel like you shouldn't ask. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark 
You're fine. Shh, shh, shh. The dark world. Everything's fine. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. We're close. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glow. And Senna explored new paths into the unknown. Not in this world. I open this door. Can I go in here? Yes. Like I see these on the windows here. And it's like that, but it's the opposite way. Like that one's facing up the way it's supposed to, but it doesn't. Hmm. Oh, oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. There we go. Okay, we got our rune. I'm doing okay so far. I'm making it through this. doing it we're rocking this puzzle i do like the way they do the puzzles like a lot loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at valor the blind god huth was there loki asks him why he wasn't taking part huth says i cannot see where Baldur stands and even if i could see him i have no weapon Loki replies, here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. Oh, really? That's so cool, Dean. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. He snores this, so loud, though. Huth is slain. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship. But they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding away. Yes, it passed since she left her father. Oh, she trained her. I didn't mean to interrupt that. Alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could patterns, shapes, movement, an intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be in. Friendship the dark to world or the light world? But I figure the we should explore in the dark world while we're here. Go. And she was caught between two worlds. Darkness. That of Zinbel and her past. Dillion. Her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. Okay. Do you know you have time for this? Okay, this has got to be it. Just figuring out how to make it. There we go. It's like I see it. I saw it happening. So the idea is she doesn't exactly like have schizophrenia, but the idea is that she's kind of like it's like reminiscent, I guess, of it. Um, for her, she's got what they're calling the darkness. Oh, sweetheart, I'm so excited for you. You had that loved you. You squashed it, strangled it. 
So you can see the backwards rune even there. The curse cannot be I can. Man, his voices are like a terrible Twitch chat, like a super toxic Twitch chat. Not like you. You all are a cute chat, but you know. Uh, you should have always been hearing it that way, Liliana. It is. It is by by Arl. Am I not supposed to just cross this? It's not safe. Gonna... I'm not gonna fall. Never much cared for the I won't fall. You're going to fall. And look dimly upon the druids, like our father, Zinbel. I'm strong and steady, it's I true. That is a good voice. Father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. <laughs> and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms. Had to see the world through his eyes. And slowly. Darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Very careful. You come this far, don't let him slip away. It's a narrow. Oh, you're not wearing headphones though? There's a long way to fall. Um, maybe it's just like doing a good job on your speakers. Go to him! No! No! Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world thing? You, and only you, can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. 